Our natural world provides essentials for life. The air we breathe, clean water to drink, food to eat, protection from the elements, and even spiritual inspiration. It underpins the way we live and our well-being. We are integral to our natural world, shaping and influencing it every day. Our growing demand for material things depends on mining, oil and gas, infrastructure, agriculture, that transform vast swathes of our natural world, degrading life's essentials. We live in a world undergoing transformational development. The question is how to balance development and economic growth whilst maintaining healthy functioning ecosystems that support biodiversity and provide those essentials. Before answering that, we need to understand how ecological processes support a healthy functioning ecosystem. Processes like water flow, soil creation, nutrient flows through food chains. We also need to consider the best use of our resources to meet multiple objectives for that landscape, including economic growth, sustainable livelihoods, biodiversity conservation and cultural heritage. Importantly, not all impacts can be offset. Impacts to ancient wetlands, rare threatened species, spiritual sites, once they're gone, they're gone. Therefore, the first step is to identify those spaces, species, or even processes that are so important that impacts should be avoided at all costs. Next, we need to minimize impacts to protect sensitive habitats through careful design, technological innovation, and thoughtful management. And where impacts are unavoidable, we ask, is there potential for ecological restoration? After ensuring only the smallest amount of lasting damage, it may be possible to create a biodiversity offset. Offsets are essentially a last resort to compensate for damage that cannot be avoided or restored, and aims to protect or create healthy functioning ecosystems. Ecosystems are complex, so the design and implementation of offsets is complex too. There's no one-size-fits-all, no checklist, no single procedure to follow. Offsets depend on context and need different people working together so that they deliver long-term benefits. Remember, maintaining ecological processes is key. We need an approach that looks at the wider landscape, how it changes over space and time, how it functions, who depends on and influences it, and how all these components are connected. We need to think about current and future developments. We need to identify options where the offset would conserve similar habitats or species to those being impacted. We need to consider who needs to be involved in design and implementation, and who will keep a watchful eye to ensure promises are delivered. Offsets need a long-term vision, collaborative approaches, and landscape-level thinking, because there are so many options and solutions to balance the needs of the community, state, and company. But what happens when a development doesn't consider offsets appropriately or neglects the people that depend on those ecosystems? Offsets could be developed in isolation. Offsets could fail to balance damage to one habitat by protecting a completely different habitat. Important communities or groups might not be engaged in the process of identifying, designing and implementing the offset. An offset is bound to fail if there's no planning, management or financing in place. Then we go from the bad to the ugly. From poor planning to the license to trash, when the promise of an offset secures development in places where biodiversity should have been protected, then fails to materialize altogether. And all the while, biodiversity is lost and ecosystems continue to be degraded, and essential goods and services for life disappear. We all have a role to play in finding a balance that enables development and economic growth whilst maintaining the healthy ecosystems we all depend on. We have to make a choice.